Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. The University of Vermont Morgan Horse Farm in Weybridge is on the National Register of Historic Places. It is home to the Morgan's rich history and offers a variety of educational programs. It is also open to the public for visits and tours of the grounds and the iconic facilities. Today we're going to learn more about this Vermont treasure from its history to its modern role in breeding, training, and education. And joining us via Zoom from the Morgan Horse Farm is Director Margot Smithson. Good afternoon, Margo, and thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So I, I wondered if you'd just share with us some of the things that have been going on recently at the farm at the beginning of the season. Yes, so we have five beautiful foals on the ground this year. We have three colts and two fillies. Um, we are finishing up the breeding season and look forward to settling several mares for next year. We've been open for guests since early May and have had a wonderful turnout of people from all across the country and even some international visitors coming through. And we're open um, Monday through Saturday, uh, 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. for guided tours. And it's been a pleasure watching people come and bring their families and picnic on the grounds. I bet it's a very special time with those foals there. Um, so, so let's touch on some of the history of the farm and, and the breed, perhaps starting, of course, with the story of figure that many longtime Vermonters, of course, know quite well. Yeah, so the Morgan horse is a very special breed of horse that originated right here in Vermont. Um, it's Foundation Sire's figure, whose statue is behind me. It's here on the grounds of the Morgan Horse Farm. And um, figure rose to fame, um, and his uh, legacy is captured beautifully in the Marguerite Henry book, Justin Morgan Had a Horse. And he uh, famously outtrotted, outraced, and outpulled any horse he was matched against. And in doing so, he became a remarkable breeding stallion and fathered this breed of horse called the Justin Morgan horse or the Morgan horse. And the Morgan horse is the state animal of Vermont and has um, helped make it the beautiful agricultural state that it is today by plowing fields, clearing land, um, and uh, they even served as cavalry horses whenever the Green Mountain Boys went down to the Civil War. So their history is very much tied to that of the state. Um, the main uh, barn here at the Morgan Horse Farm was built in 1878 by a man named Joseph Patel, and we've had a, the longest uh, continuous Morgan Horse breeding program in the world here since 1878. So all the horses here are related to those horses that um, Joseph Patel had back then. So it's a really special place. What a legacy. And, and then, of course, UVM became the steward of the farm in, in the early 50s, right? Yes. So Joseph Patel left the farm actually to the U.S. government in 1907, and it was run as an agricultural research station from 1907 to 1951. And during that time, they bred Morgan horses for improvement. Um, they were used as cavalry horses to improve the broodstock of the nation, um, as well as, you know, National Guard horses, police horses. And then um, as time marches on and machines replaced horses, um, the USDA concluded their facility in 1950 and actually gave the farm a, a breed of a, a band of horses to the University of Vermont, um, who has been at Stewart since 1951. Wonderful. And my dad was in the cavalry, and he that was his, was his favorite thing, of course, was with the horses. So sure. in, in addition to welcoming the public, uh, what does the farm do today? So we maintain um, our priority is to you know preserve and promote the Morgan horse. Um, we maintain a brood herd of between 30 and 40 Morgans, um, and we keep a certain percentage of that to maintain the bloodlines here. But then we want to connect Morgan horses with um, people out in the world for um, wonderful pleasure use horses. Um, we also, because we're um, connected with the University of Vermont, we have a, a myriad of great educational programs for UVM students as well as the public here at the farm. So we have equine science internships, we have um, outdoor education internships, other programs that we're actively developing, as well as um, opportunities for um, folks in high school and even elementary school um, kids that want to come take a tour and learn about Vermont State Animal. Right, that's great that you have that campus just, just north of Middlebury. Um, can, you, can you share an example of the kind of educational programs and, and trainings that might be available to those students? 
Yeah, so one of our um, longest running programs is the um, equine reproduction workshop every spring and that's open to the general public as well as students and we go through all aspects of equine reproduction. Um, we also have um, a wonderful apprenticeship program that's been going since the 1970s and that is for folks to come live on the farm for the duration of a year and they learn all aspects of what it takes to operate um, a breeding farm of this size. Um, and then for the public, we have events throughout the year. Um, we have a wonderful 4-H day that we collaborate with Vermont 4-H, and we um, teach about STEM and equine husbandry um, things to the general public and engage 4-Hers in that. Um, we have a Vermont Day open house, which is our big open house every year. This year, it'll be on August 6th. Um, it's a Saturday. And we uh, do demonstrations of Morgan training um, and versatility, and that's a really fun, free open house for the public. That's great that it's a free event. And and Margo, you know, your your own connection to the farm runs very deep. You grew up in Middlebury. It's less than five miles from the farm. You worked at the farm in the summers during high school and after college you started working on the farm's main office and you went through from operations director to director. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. What does the farm um, really mean to you? It must be just near and dear to you. It's an incredibly special place. And I think one of my favorite parts about the farm is that even though I have such a long history with it, it seems that every year I learn something new about its history, about its design, you know, some little part of the barn that I didn't quite realize before. And I realized, oh, okay, that was a, a pulley hook for when they used to unload the hay off of the wagons with the big grappling hook. And so it's, it's really amazing to me that this how much history is at this farm. And I feel incredibly lucky to be here every day um, to continue to preserve it and promote it to the public. Well, there's a, certainly a lot of Vermont pride and history in the Morgan Horse Farm, but in recent years, you've also had a little bit of a renaissance taking place. What are some of the things that have occurred recently? Yeah, so we did a, a strategic plan in 2018, and that led to um, over a million dollars in public and private um, gifts to the farm, which allowed us to do some really great renovations. Um, we are um, really expanded our tourism um, that has pretty much tripled in size and income for the farm over the last few years. And uh, recently we actually were on a PBS nature documentary called American Horses. And that was really exciting to be able to have them come and film and reach people from all across the country. Um, so it's been a wonderful thing to re um, kind of reinvigorate the farm and connect with an, a new community and, and expand our community across the country. Um, and our educational programs are really proud of how we have created several equine internships. These are accredited internships through UVM, open to UVM students as well as students from across you know, other universities as well. Um, and we have even expanded outside of um, uh, equine science. And so, for example, I had some place-based education students come down, some environmental studies students come down. So in that way, it's really exciting to be able to share the full capacity of the farm with the UVM community as well as the public. Fabulous. And you've mentioned uh, the weekday tours. Uh, you also have a couple of special events um, coming up. You've touched on some of them. Um, are, there, are there any that we've missed? So there's that free Vermont Day on Saturday, August 6th. Um, mm -hmm. tell, tell us about that again and any other special events you have. Sure. So I am working on one that I might be able to, it's not published yet, but keep an eye on our events calendar on our website um, and on Facebook. You um, can follow us at, at UVM Morgan Horse Farm. Um, we, I'm hoping to have an event at the end of August, but it's not, so just stay tuned. Um, and then we have our annual full raffle. And this year we have a wonderful yearling gelding and we'll do, we'll conclude the season on Saturday, October 29th with a game of the open house and and we'll draw the winning ticket for the raffle. Um, and it's just a nice way to celebrate the connection of the Morgan and its history with the state. So let me get that straight. You're, you, you raffle a foal? What, what are you we, raffling We on? raffle a horse, yes. We raffle a horse off, um, and it's been going since the 70s, and this year we have a really nice young gelding, um, and it's a, um, a really cool program, and um, yeah, so we'll, his, uh, we'll raffle the ticket on the 29th. Wow, and I, I assume that Morgans are still quite desirable in general. 
Absolutely. So interestingly enough, um, COVID really kind of was an opportunity for folks to realize how wonderful horses were. It's a great social thing activity to take horseback riding lessons. And so the market for horses has really expanded. And so um, we have a lot of demand for the Morgan horses and we're excited to continue to connect people with them um, moving forward. Okay, we wanna make sure uh, before we end, to, we do wanna point out that uh, for more information on those events, as well as the visiting hours, public hours and directions to the farm, you can check the website that we've listed here on your screen. It's uvm.edu slash cals slash Morgan. So either farm. one of those will get you there. <laughs> <laughs> Horse farm or UVM Morgan at, at uh, uvm.edu. You, you can write that. So uh, Margo, thanks. You know, um, I, I hear it's quite interesting how you name the horses at the yes, Morgan Horse yeah. Farm. How, how do you do that? Yes. So every year um, since the 50s, we have one letter of the alphabet where all foals born in that year um, receive the same first letter of their name. And so this year's letter is E. Um, and we actually had an intern this summer um, who uh, was a Morgan enthusiast, and she's also going to school for communications and marketing. And so she came up with a great idea to do a naming contest, and she put that out on social media. And we had tremendous participation, and we actually put it out to a poll, and the public picked um, two names of foals this year. So we have UVM Endeavor and UVM Epiphany were t the two winning names from that naming competition, which was really fun. And Fabulous. I think we'll probably do it again next year. Fabulous yeah. names. And, and just quickly, um, you know, what are your favorite aspects of, of the farm, having been there most mm. of your life? Well, you really can't beat the foals, you know, every year it's just so exciting whenever they come and, and see what they turn out to be, what they look like as they unfurl throughout this, the spring yeah. and summer. Um, and I think just in general, um, the just being here, like last night, I was lucky enough to see the sunset kind of starting to come in from the main barn and looking out those beautiful doors Gorgeous. and seeing figure, Absolutely. you know, it's just really stunning place. Margo, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for being with us across the fence. I'm Fran Stoddard. Stay with me.